Welcome back. This is Business Rule Framework BRF on SAP Cloud Platform course. In this course, we will be trying to uncover how can you use Business Rule Framework in your own project, maybe for your customer or for partners. And we'll start with basic. You know, we'll understand why BRF is used in the first place. Then we will look into a simple case study where we can create BRF and try to see end-to-end -end process from creation to creating the service, activating the service, deploying it to the cloud platform and using it with REST APIs. Then we will go inside the BRF and trying to look how this can be utilized in a existing UI5 application or how can it be utilized in a workflow which is part of SAP Cloud Platform service. Now, once we have seen those scenarios, we'll try to create a custom use case for you to understand how BRF would be utilized in real-time scenario, how those integration would be done from developer side if they have to pull data from BRF and bring those data in the application and use those data as some kind of threshold or parameters. Now, once we have seen the integration side, we will go inside the BRF and look into some of the advanced features like annotations, like how can we use tables, elements, and see some advanced filtering condition in the decision table creation. And we will be uncovering also decision manager, which is something which a lot of people don't cover, but we'll try to give you a glimpse how the decision manager will be part of the BRF and how to use it and how to develop it. Now, once we have covered the advanced section of BRF as well, we'll go to the final section where we will create a custom application. This custom application will be a analytical dashboard application, which will pick the parameters from BRF and BRF basically will tell what are the threshold for the analytics, positive and negative and neutral. And based on this analytics, a business user can consume the graphs, can take meaningful business decision and can trigger some activity, which will be then triggering a workflow behind the scene. So we will basically give you a entire picture for a BRF use case with UI5 and workflow involved in it. And it will create a useful business use case, which you can pitch to your customer as well. And in this final week itself, we will cover what are the different types of roles which a user need to have to develop BRF, to create the decision table, or to work with BRF and use it in the application. We will also see OAuth, how can OAuth be utilized? If you remember, we have covered OAuth again in the workflow course, where we try to see how OAuth can be utilized in our application. So you don't have to create a separate user ID, but you can have a client which can call the APIs and use the BRF or workflow in their own application. Now OAuth remains valid for other services which you want to consume as a REST API. Now those things are part of how you create a application without creating a sub account or a separate user. So we will be covering all that with the best practices as well. I hope that this course will give you a deep insight of business rule framework with SAP Cloud Platform and we'll try to cover all the aspect which you need in your job in detail in step-by-step -step manner. I hope you will like this course and join this course and I will be seeing you in this course.